Hi, Megan and Megan's Creations here. I got a request this week to describe how I make masks, and it's um, really quite simple. So I would just show you how to do that real quick here. Uh, the key is uh, I use a lot of brushes, and you can, um, some designers give these brushes out for free. There's also ways you can buy brushes. Um, I've looked up Photoshop brushes. There are some that have come with um, the program. Let's see, I have some from you know, just Jamie and Sugar Hill Co. Um, Sugar Plum, I got some of hers recently. Those will be some fun ones to start with. And you, um, you can always, when you grab a brush, you can see how big it's going to be. So um, by just dragging it over and, and kind of testing it out. If you don't want it that big, you can always shrink it down here in the master diameter. You can scale it back a little bit and then you know that the color that's on the top is going to be your brush. Um, so some people like to change the opacity of masks and, and that would be just how dark you make your brush. So I'm going to lower the opacity of the brush just a little bit, maybe about to 79% and then click and so that'll make it just sort of see-through. And then sometimes it's good to change to add layers when you're making a photo mask just in case you decide to flip things. You know, because this brush only comes this way, but I can always, if it's on its own layer, I can always turn it. And if you, you know, put another brush on top of it, you can't edit them anymore. So um, you're going to add a new layer and try to get some other brushes. Um, I also like my Amanda Rockwell. Um, brushes. Um, and she had some pattern brushes which are fun and um, you can get an interesting pattern going on the edge of your photo mask. Something like that too. Um, let's go to texture brush. And it's just, just kind of playing around with it. Uh, she also has these really large ones which are great. Like here this can be the main body of ours. And so I'm going to put the opacity back up and make it just a little smaller. You can always type in a value too. You don't have to just go with what happens when you slide it. I and mean, that's still not very dark. That's just how that brush came. I mean, I did 100% opacity and it's a black brush. So if it ever isn't dark enough still, you can always duplicate it. And then that'll make it a darker brush. And the darker it is, the closer to black, then the more your photo will show when you clip it onto the mask. So um, there's my main body of my photo, and, and now it's just you know adding some fun decorations with other brushes, and you, you just keep playing around with this. Let's add a new layer, um, and and you know play around with lowering the opacity of some brushes so that those are semi-transparent when you add it there, um, and keep in mind again that you can rotate a brush, you know, like this one's sideways, I really, I'm doing a kind of a square thing, so I have it on my own, have it on its own page, on its own um, layer, and I could, you know, turn it, flip it when I do that. Um, and let's just add a little bit more here. Um, have some fun splats from Dream Big Designs, I like those, those are fun. Um, again, they're big, I'm going to shrink them down a little. Okay, and I always like to do a diagonal, some on the left, some on the upper right. Okay, and um, just one more thing. <laughs> it gets so carried away. There's so many different fun things you can do with it. It's it's hard to stop anywhere. Um, add some of these by just Jamie again on a new layer, and just do like that. Just add some more. Dimension there. Okay, so I like this. We're going to settle with this. Um, if you still think you want to play around with it, I mean, maybe uh, when you put the photo on there, you realize, oh, I need a little bit more in this this corner than that. Um, so you might want to keep it layered until you see how it works with your photo. So I'm duplicating the layers and then merging them together. So I've got the separated layers still here of the mask, and then I've got my combined mask right here. So now we just um, we grab a fun picture and uh, we see how it looks. Let's see, got some fun 
family photos. I'm going to have to turn this one to work. But, um, you know, you just, um, some photos work better with masks than others. But uh, I think that, you know, works pretty okay. Um, also with using a mask, if um, you realize, hey, well, you know, my, my, rec my photo, obviously I don't want to lose any more of this photo. I don't want to have it come in on the around the edges anymore, but I've got this sharp contrast here where it's the photo and then boom, it goes into the mask. Um, let's say I also don't like the black around it, kind of a dark. Uh, I just hit new layer. I'm adding a layer in between my photo and my mask and maybe uh, pull a color from from the photo or because this is the color of the photo. It's Oh, you have to be on the photo to click on it and get a color from the photo. Um, you know, get a color from the photo and then clip that on the mask so it blends a little better. And then come with the eraser tool, lower the hardness, um, and lower the opacity. And I like to sometimes get big when I've done that. And, and just come around the edges of your photo so and, and gradually erase this edge so it blends into the mask and so there's not such a harsh contrast when it, it hits the edge so um, that blends a little better there's still a color contrast there because that wall was different I could just keep erasing it because I did pull a color from the photo and so now that'll that'll blend better into the photo mask and that's that's how I do photo masks. Just having fun with the different brushes that I have, uh, splatters. You want to make sure that the center brush, if you want a lot of your photo to show through, is really black. You want that middle part really black so that you get um, really opaque center there. It's not very transparent. You can see a lot of the photo. Or if you like to go for that, you know, pale photo look, that's fine too. A kind of a photo blend and even in the background, then you don't want your brush to be black. You can always change that by um, just lowering the opacity of the mask itself if you want it more as a photo blend. But um, if you want a lot of the photo to show in the middle, you want that part to be really dark black and then gradually change the transparency on the outer edges. And you can always play around with the colors and do something crazy too. It doesn't have to be something that stays with what your photo, you know, you can do whatever colors you want to do. So I hope you have fun and that, that was helpful. Um, showing you how to use the brush tool and showing you how to lower the opacity of brushes when you use them. So um, have fun with that and I'll see you next time.